If you look carefully, what you're looking at is the difference between rolled glass up there and flowed glass below. You can see that on rolled glass, there seem to be vertical lines in the glass that break up the image of the tree or whatever you're looking at. And the same effect just doesn't happen with the lower pane of glass. The rolled glass, the upper one here, was made just like back in the olden days. It, it was made between pressure rollers, that's why it's, uh, it's got these vertical ridges on it. And uh, back in the day, what you could do with glass is uh, have it on a glass blower's uh, wand or stick and blow it into a bubble and then cut it up with a pair of scissors and uh, and then when you and then you flatten it out roll it out flat and you roll more on it to make it more flat and of a uniform thickness and then you have rolled glass so that's how the upper one was made something like that of course it was made with between pressure rollers but uh, something like that whereas the lower one the float glass is uh, floating what it's floating on and it's and it's dead flat what it's floating on is a uh, uh, molten lead in a huge tank there is molten lead and the and the uh, molten glass is just spread out on top of it of course the 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 vat or the tank follows the curvature of the earth so, but that's so minimal uh, along the length or the width of a pane of glass that it's absolutely not noticeable but the rolling on the upper pane of glass is definitely noticeable sometimes you get mirrors like that as well